to grant you and to call you angel of light, salamander, woman. You give birth to fire, and I have felt its claws. I'm silent, I stand aside, I wait. But I do not forget the sweet blaze of your eyes, the dark night of your hair, your body, half rose, half dagger. And although you might tell me that loving you is not my lot, the fire says, fierce and commanding, I am your, I am your land, your sea, your destiny, your law of steel, flesh, and sun. And I look at the fire, I smile at the fire, I enter the fire, man, poet, discoverer. Bravo! That's it. I just um, spotted uh, a gentleman who is going to accompany me in a couple of songs, but I will do those. I'll do the poetry first, and then we can um, do a couple of songs. And it's good to see you there, George. See you too. Uh, they can, uh, this is not, not a love poem. Yeah. It's called Mr. Bum and Mr. Oil. <laughs> see them there, on the front page of the morning paper, walking hand in hand like a pair of sweethearts through the plenitude of a Texas ranch. President Bush of the United States of America, Prince Abdullah of Saudi Arabia. Otherwise known, two gentlemen otherwise known as Mr. Bum and Mr. Oil. <laughs> Behind their grins, can you not sense saliva running? At the thought of all those billions of barrels of oil translated into trillions of US dollars and Saudi dinars? Wait a minute. That isn't saliva coursing smoothly through their mouths and down their throats. I think it's, yes, it's blood, blood from the bombs dropped dem democratically to guarantee the oil supply, and, and blood from the diseases caused by the constant and endless burning of fossil fuels. Blood. Ah, and they don't even have fangs. They have such nice smiles. Ese todavía no tengo versión en español. Pero, um, uh, here's another one. Um, it's, uh, usually at the last minute uh, I make some decisions depending on my mood and the mood, the mood I sense in the, um, at the gathering. This one is uh, called Doomsday Limited. And it's not a new poem, but I've, um, it's still very uh, relevant. Doomsday Limited, and is dedicated to Phil Mader. The evening news is crisp and cool. The day's WMD talks are humane. We are shown film clips of rockets with coiled tails of flame that lie in silos and oceans and how good we all are to think of limiting them. They never say how many it takes at the ends of their perfect arcs to burn the face of one child. Here's another pessimistic poem. I, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a pessimistic. I, I have a, I, I'm kind of, um, I, I, I think this wonderful deal that Leighton worked out with, uh, with Martin isn't going to work. And I think it's one of the smartest deals that I've heard of in years. And um, anyway, so, um, but no politics. <laughs> this one is called A Poet on the Deck of the Titanic.
We smile. We reach out. We are actors in a play. Do you know the name of the play? Do you know your name in the play? Do you know your lines? Are we supposed to extemporize or merely prolong an embarrassing silence? No. I know the play. I know my role. This morning after coffee and reading the usual terrible headlines, I heard the band playing Nearer My God to Thee. <laughs> I should say, when the Titanic, which was the greatest ship of its time, and when it went down on its maiden voyage, um, the legend is, I don't know if it's completely true, that uh, the people didn't even realize that it was sinking, and then a lot of people didn't get into the boats, and then it was crowded. In the end, 1,500 people uh, died. and. Um, the, ba the band had been playing, there had been a party on the um, top deck, and uh, as the ship started its downward uh, slide, they played it. It's an old hymn, Nearer My God to Thee. So that's the reference there. And sometimes I feel I'm on a sinking ship. I'm sure it's not a, uh, not a very unusual uh, thing to feel. Okay, I have a very, um, sort of surrealistic poem here in Spanish, <coughs> uh, which I will read uh, surrealistically. Trena, el mundo es caliente y oscuro, yo soy el cielo. Trena, la fuerza vital lanza ríos de escarlata por encima de montes y malayos, no vistos por ojos. Los soldados rojos, por miles de millones, ahuyentan las tribus más débiles, las claras, las opacas, las gelatinosas, hacia ríos, riachuelos, estanques, charcos hediondos, cloacas, catacumbas, cámaras de tortura, torre de placer. Truena, grandes cargamentos descienden por un profundo cañón rojo. Son esparcidos por canales cañerías, tubos, embudos, baños de ácido, caliente y frío, hacia basureros consumidos. No, 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 no. Truena, soplan vientos por cavernas de muros hasteados, amenazados por el cáncer, mientras soldados rojos cargan y descargan cargamentos de gases. Truena, el mundo se mueve al compás de un tambor en el interior. Truena, truena, con la voz de un maestro de galeras antiguas, exhortando a los remeros. Paso de batalla, paso de ataque, paso de embestida. Y yo soy el cielo, cruzado por un relámpago, al afrentar las galaxias de sangre y hueso, spleen y mierda, sé 